So on today's episode of Farm to Home, I'm gonna teach you guys how this apple can represent our world and what it means to really be a true agriculturalist and what we have of our world to farm on and how we need to preserve that land the best we can. What is this? So a lot of you would probably say it's an apple, but what if I told you you were wrong? What if I told you today that this apple represents the world? And so today I want you in your mind's eye to really think about this apple as the world and we're gonna represent what our land looks like in an agriculture perspective based on this apple, which is now our world. So I'm gonna cut this apple into some pieces. And so I'm gonna take this, and just like I were to eat it, I'm going to cut this apple into four separate pieces. So that would be a quarter. Each one's a quarter. So of that quarter, I have one, two, three, four quarters. And so that would be our world in fourths. And if I took three of them to the side, that's three fourths of our world. And then I have one fourth over here. So I'm gonna spend a moment talking about these three fourths. What would these represent based on our world? We know that our earth is mostly made up of water. So these three fourths of our world, this would be water. So I'm gonna set those to, a, to the side for a moment. And now I'm gonna talk about this fourth. So if these three fourths are water, this fourth then of course would have to be land. And so this land is all we have on our entire earth. And this is what we have to live on, to use, to utilize, and this is where our billions of people actually live and cohabitate um, on our planet. Because the rest is the ocean and lakes and rivers and things of that nature. So now I'm gonna take this piece of land and I'm gonna cut it in half. This is now representing two eighths of our world. And so one of these eighths there's two different ones that we got going on here. And so one of these eights is land that we cannot um, actually live on. We can't um, grow any habitat or anything on them. It's things like high deserts or glaciers or the tops of the Rocky Mountains. You can't do anything on this land. So it's land that people cannot live on. So I'm gonna set that over here with our ocean. Then we have this piece of the land that's left. And so we have this piece of the land that people can live on and that we can cohabitate, we can do everything that we need to do, do our agriculture things that we need to do in our country, and that is, again, still our world that we can live on and do all those things. Now I'm gonna take these pieces and I'm gonna break them down into four sections. So now I'm creating four 30 seconds of pieces of our earth. So each of these pieces represent a 30 second of our earth. So I have four of them. But I'm going to take these three to the side and I'm going to tell you that this land is stuff that people can live on, however we can't farm on it. And so people can live on it, it's things like um, urban sprawl where there's lots of homes and things of that nature, but we can't farm on it because there's no usable farmland. Um, there's you know maybe too arid of a climate that we can't grow any of our food on. And so those are out of the way. So what we have left is 1 32nd of our world. One thirty-second of our world is what we produce billions of dollars worth of agriculture products on for our entire world. Now I'm going to take this one thirty-second of our land that we can produce all of our food, all of our fruits, veggies, uh, clothing, all of those things that come from our agriculture industry and that is what we produce our agriculture on. And I'm going to take that top layer off and this top layer now just re represents our topsoil. So of that 132nd, I have now taken the topsoil off. The topsoil represents about five feet is how deep it is. So five feet is all we have of topsoil. In order to produce one inch of topsoil, it takes a hundred years. hundred years to produce one inch of topsoil. So this, my friends, has come from this entire apple. This is what we can grow all of our crops on, what we have the ability to produce food for our entire world, every country that's on it, every living being. This is what we are able to actually produce all of our food on. So it's super important that we protect this because it's very small when it compares to the, our entire earth. Now one thing that threatens this piece of land are things like urban sprawl, having more homes, people who are using improper farming practices. Things that we do great in agriculture is things like crop rotation and making sure that lands are not overgrazed by animals. And so it's really necessary to take care of this five feet of topsoil and to make sure that we're preserving it for years to come because you don't get more land back. And so those are things that can threaten agriculture land. Also things like erosion. So we have to have great farming practices and agriculturalists all over the world are doing their best to make sure that we're better and better every single year. 
So take care of our topsoil, take care of our land that we have to grow all of our agriculture products on.